If you don't know, when I play the drums, I look like I'm on Molly. Fuck you, me, saying I'm shit. This is quite good. Am I the most vain drummer there is? Just waiting to see if anyone was going to sub and try and ruin the video, but they didn't. Hello. If you're watching this on YouTube, I've been gone. I did line up some videos for you so you could... You could, you could quench your thirst, but I don't know if it's the algorithm or simply terrible content that I was putting out, but you didn't really care, did you? No one really cared. I didn't make any money. Um, didn't make any subscribers. It was a waste of fucking time. So next time I go on tour, I shall not be doing anything. I'll just simply leave you in the lurch and the algorithm will suck up other people's shitty reaction videos I went on tour it was really good I came back from tour now I've got a sinus infection and I've got a chest infection all the infections except not an STI because it ends up the antibiotics clear that up as well which is nice um, and we're going to kick things off with the most arrogant thing you can do what critics are calling the most arrogant thing you can do. Vic Firth came out to the Boston show outside Fenway Park. It was a fucking good show. I love Boston. I love the movie The Town. So we pulled up in the bandwagon and got out, and I was like, hang on, this is exactly where The Town was filmed, which was awesome. Eric from Vic Firth came. Eric Gross used to play in that band Vanna. Absolute legend. And he, he stuck a bunch of GoPros up. And he filmed me, and I haven't watched it yet. So we're going to see if I'm bad. <sighs> All right. I can't remember how to do anything either, so let's go over here like this. I'll pop these headphones on. It's this one here. They've used a horrible photo of me. If you don't know, when I play the drums, I look like I'm on Molly. And when I'm on Molly, I look like I'm playing the drums because they're exactly the same face. So, yeah, go on in. Also, I'm a big show pony, so they'll be standing up and all that sort of stuff. I got a DM today from someone saying, uh, I can't help but notice that sometimes you stand up when you're playing guillotine, and other times you don't stand up. What gives? And the answer is, I'm a show pony. But, I'm only a show pony if I'm enjoying the show. If I'm vibing the show, I'll stand up, I'll scream, I'll punch the fucking kick drum, I'll go mental. If I'm not enjoying the show, I'll probably do the same, but out of a place of rage. If I'm ambivalent at best for the show, then I probably won't do any standing up. But you can see with this one, by the fact that I'm actually just standing up immediately, and I'm having a lovely time. And before anyone says you put on weight, yes, I have put on weight. Towards the end of the tour, I like to pretend that I was playing this bit. Why is this quality fucking Game Boy shit? Thank you. If anyone listens to the record, that bit's actually a lo-fi bit of music. Also, Tom plays a part, then loops it. The part that's in the intro of the song needs to be played over the next riff, but we have one guitarist, so we extended the intro of this song so Tom can record that <laughs> fucking weird noise, and then he can hit the loop pedal and play the other guitar. Very clever. It means we don't have to have a fucking backing track. Like, some bands do have a backing track with loads of stuff on it. Like, loads of stuff. Like, almost the whole thing. Anyway. I'm using two polyphonic rides as crashes. Come on, come on, Boston! Drew's really loud because this is the front of the house mix. Let's go! I got a haircut that day as well. I need to get that gap filled over my nipple. It's going to start now. What 
Wish I could turn Drew down. So satisfying to play that bit. It's so satisfying to play that bit because the pattern is quite odd because I play the hi-hat but there's triplets going on with the kicks so it's actually dotted eighth notes with the kick. Um, and this is one of the rare times I managed to hit every splash cymbal there because usually I don't. Usually I miss that splash. It's the most satisfying song to play. Three BPM drop there into the chorus. So annoying, but it makes it heavy. I think if I very important I think if I filled in the gap where my nipple is on my chest it might make me look less rotund oh I wish I was on tour Matt Durkis mixed this amazing sound like maybe the best strays ever sound can't really react to anything other than what my body looks like such a prick I fucking nailed that Dillinger blast fuck you everyone fuck you me saying I'm shit this is quite good go figure I look really disappointed in someone there. I don't know who it was. You see my face? I think maybe I'm thinking, look at it. I look like I'm fucking when Mr. Burns is an alien. Um, I literally, in my head, because I know who the song's about, the sort of people the song's about, the, the look of disappointment there is actually, Drew says you stupid fuck. And I'm literally thinking, oh, I'm so disappointed in you people. Look. So disappointed. So satisfying to when we get that tight as well. You fucking show off, prick. Nah, that bit, if I'm feeling it, I'll stand up and I'll go a bit mental. Towards the last few shows, um, my back started being a bit shit. And maybe the last four shows, my back was a bit shit. Um, and by this point in the set, I'd be so annoyed that I was actually just punching the drum, punching the, the uh, kick drum at the same time as hitting it. Which probably looked quite cool, and I nearly did go through the kick drum head, but I also think I might have fractured my hand a little bit because it still hurts. Every time someone shakes my hand, I'm like, oh, that hurts. Worth it though, because I looked fucking cool. Just want to fill my body with tattoos though. Look at that naked bit. I'm going to get booked in later. Snare bomb. I love standing up when I play the drums. Not only does it... I actually... I tense my bum cheeks because my bum goes to sleep sometimes when I'm playing. So if I stand up, I sneak in a little bum cheek. 
uh, tent. Sometimes my back clicks when I do it as well. It's not just a show pony thing. Thank you. So what have we learned? I need to fill this gap in here. And I need to fill this gap in here. The sides I could wait, I reckon, but before my next tour, I need to zap something in there. Maybe, like, maybe, like, I could do a mace and then get the chain going around there. You know, like the fucking thing, the the thing with the balls on the stick? Or I could get the handle there and then the chains there and then the big malice, is that what they're called? The big spiky ball there. Ball on the stick. Um, and I'll get something filled in there. I'll probably do the uh, Travis Barker thing where what you do is you get the tattoo so close to your jawline that it sort of makes you look thinner in the face. It's very clever. Am I the most vain drummer there is? It's interesting, really. It's all after getting divorced, I think. I've definitely got a self-image problem. Anyway, 